So hello and welcome to day two of Caboodle Textiles uh, Sew Along with Made by Jack's Mum uh, Harem uh, Trousers. Uh, hopefully you've all seen video one which is uh, cutting out your pattern, uh, grading and uh, working out what size you want to do. So for this pattern you've got quite a lot of options in terms of which stretch fabric that you use. Caboodle Textiles have made a video on their YouTube channel to help you work out which fabric uh, type would work best for you. But essentially you can use jersey, so cotton jersey, French terry, brushed back French terry or alpine fleece even or sweatshirting so long as your fabric has got between 10% and 50% stretch. So once you've got your uh, main uh, leg piece, then you're going to cut that on the fold. So um, that means that you're going to fold your fabric uh, in half or just far enough that it fits uh, the full pattern piece on. Now, if your fabric is directional, you want to make sure that you're cutting the right way up. So for me, I'm using this gorgeous toucan uh, jersey from Caboodle Textiles and uh, you, um, so I need to make sure that the, all those toucans are facing in the correct direction. You also, if you've got a particular uh, animal print, you want to kind of be careful what's featuring in your crotch area. So you don't want um, uh, sort of bird beaks peeking out uh, at the join of your crotch. Um, well, you might do, uh, but usually you try to avoid that. So the um, where it says on the pattern, place on the fold, the edge of that piece goes up against the fold of the fabric. And then um, you don't have to fold your fabric exactly in half. You do, however, want the across ways biggest stretch lining up with where the stretch arrow is on the pattern piece. And you're going to cut two of these pattern pieces, one for the front or one, and one for the back. If you're doing the colour blocked uh, option and only doing the front, then you'll need to do the colour blocked uh, pieces as opposed to the whole pieces. So I'm going to cut my uh, main fabric now. Uh, so I'm using a uh, rotary cutter and um, pattern weights. Uh, you can also uh, cut your fabric with um, by uh, pinning the pattern pieces onto the fabric and cutting round with scissors. Um, you need to be pretty precise, but the odd millimetre here or there isn't going to uh, be a problem because you... Um, uh, because uh, your it's automatically going to be symmetrical uh, because you're cutting them on the fold, so your right and left pieces are automatically uh, going to uh, match each other. Uh, so you're going to cut all the way round, and then you're going to repeat this uh, for the uh, for the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, cut my cuffs, and you'll find on your pattern that there is a chart that describes and tells you exactly what size you need to, um, that you need to pick. And you need to have a look to see whether you're doing the harem pants, in which case you'll be using cotton lycra, or if you're doing the high kick harems, then um, you can use ribbing because you're going to put elastic inside. Now, ribbing, is really really stretchy and that's why you're going to want to put elastic inside because it it has good recovery but it doesn't have quite as good recovery as cotton lycra um, which as you can see so this cotton lycra good recovery and you would be able to do a fold over waistband uh, with that and your trousers won't fall down with ribbing ribbing will work brilliantly for cuffs on either but you're going to need that elastic in it to stop it falling down uh, if you um, if you're doing the uh, high kick harems, so there's a really helpful chart that tells you what size ribbing you need to cut, um, and that saves you printing out lots of rectangles. Um, and you may want to use a quilting uh, ruler um, 
this is one of Aldi's um, and because it makes it a little bit easier to cut but you can do it with a standard ruler and you obviously can work in centimeters or inches now there's two um, two uh, readings there's a, a vertical reading and there's a horizontal reading and you want the horizontal reading to be the direction that's got the most stretch because that's going to be um, the um, the measurement that goes round your child's waist or ankle and if you get this wrong and I have got it wrong you uh, will essentially be making a compression garment because um, and you won't be able to pull it on and off so when you've graded, uh, and if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I've got a very skinny little niece uh, and she is a three to six month uh, waist and an age two height. So I need to be using the age two vertical measurement because that's what's giving me the height of the pattern and the age three to six um, a crossways pattern and that's for both the cuffs and the waist. Uh, and you'll be able to mix and match uh, whichever it is that you need. Now, if you're just uh, your child is waist is one size smaller than uh, the rest of their body, um, a lot of people would choose just to make the height and width of the trouser in one size and then just size down on the waistband, and that'll work completely fine. Okay. Um, I find it helpful when I when I'm doing it and um, when I'm grading the pattern to just make a note and write down the size that I need and then refer to that as I'm cutting because I find looking at the whole table that's the occasions where I've made a mistake and cut the wrong measurements. So I'm going to cut two legs and a waistband um, and then I'm going to um, cut some elastic in the right uh, length for um, my niece's uh, width, which will be the three to six months. Uh, age size. So what I'm using for my harems is a, a chunky uh, rib and this rib is new uh, in time for the uh, VIP sale on the 30th of uh, March. Um, you could also use the standard ribbing uh, and you could use cotton lycra as well but generally you'd want to use a shorter measurement um, for, for that if, you, if that's what you're going to choose to use. So you want to make sure it's kind of all straight um, and I'm going to um, do uh, four and three eighths up. Uh, so I've got um, eighths measurements all the way along. And this is the leg measurement. Now this is tubular ribbing. So what I do for tubular ribbing is um, I cut the two leg pieces, uh, the two leg pieces at once. So I'm going to do um, four and uh, uh, three eighths and then I'm going to do uh, the width that, uh, that I need uh, which is over here and I'm going to cut these two uh, two leg pieces uh, at once so I'm going to cut one on top of the other and then I'm going to split that bit in half so I'm just being really careful and making sure that I'm cutting the right size because um, I don't want to uh, waste my beautiful fabric. Uh, for anybody interested, this is the Aqua uh, ribbing, which is an absolutely gorgeous uh, match uh, with the Toucan uh, jersey. The Fuchsia Pink would also go really well. Uh, yellow, um, some of the other um, sewists on the Caboodle Fabrics um, uh, website, uh, Facebook group have um, also made things using yellow uh, and baby pink and they've all been absolutely beautiful. Uh, so there's plenty of, of options um, to make your own unique garment. Uh, so now I'm just cutting this in half because uh, my niece has two legs uh, so needs a cuff for each. Um, so that's the leg cuffs uh, and I'm now going to do the waist. If you're using tubular ribbing then obviously um, uh, you're going to uh, use half the measurement along if, if it kind of, uh, if, you're, if you've got it in the tube so to speak. So um, she's have it needs 17 inches across 
so that is um, eight and a half uh, inches wide. Um, so I'm just going to make it eight and a half inches wide, uh, and then I'm going to put the correct height. Sorry. 